So you're here because you want to make a 24 inch diameter project. Well, I'm your girl. I've done this project four times. Twice I failed, then I succeeded, and then I decided to document the entire process so you could benefit from my failures. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your local party store and get this four pack of 24 inch diameter balloons. It's $5 for four balloons. Fill up your balloon with air, do not use helium. If you don't believe me, go to my bobblehead do's and don'ts video. It will show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and it will show you why you need to use air. Then you're gonna mix up some paper mache. I put some in the description box for you. You're gonna cut or rip some thin pieces of newspaper. Oh, no, no, come back, come back. Stay, stay. I like ramen and I love catchphrases. So first you're gonna dip strip and then you're gonna strip strip. Use your two fingers and swipe off the excess paper mache. And then you're gonna dress and press. You're gonna start from the bottom and work your way around and up. Make sure that you're overlapping your strips and that your strips are staying horizontal. You're gonna see me start doing vertical strips. I made a mistake and I will pay for that later. So just trust me, horizontal strips all the way around. Make sure you layer them. This time lapse took about a half an hour to do the entire balloon. The part of the balloon that is touching the trifle bowl will not be able to have paper mache on it today, but once you pop your balloon, you can definitely um, put some paper mache over if you need in a sphere that is closed all the way around. Put your project in a temperature controlled room away from the windows so it can dry. And I let my balloon dry for about 14 hours. You can see up here that it's white and it looks very flowery and that means it is dry. Down here you can see that it's darker newspaper and you can just feel that it's still wet. I also tap my balloon a lot because I want to make sure that it's strong. And I do see a little tear right here which makes me sad so we'll see what happens with that. And let me let it dry completely. Boo! This has happened before. My rip was not this bad. I am not going to pop the balloon. Like I say in my do's and don'ts video, I'm going to try and fix this. When I woke up to this, I immediately painted a layer of Mod Podge to try and stop the rip and to strengthen my project. Now that it's dry, we can move on with our next step. Fingers crossed. Here we go with our second layer of paper mache and let's fix this stupid hole. With your second layer of paper mache, there is paper mache covering the entire sphere, so you don't have to start at the bottom, work your way around and then up. And it worked, I'm so excited. So now I just need it to dry. So now I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the balloon and I'm gonna stick a pin through it and see if it will slowly leak. Not so much. <laughs> oh my god, that really scared me. The second layer of paper mache came out beautiful. Now I'm going to paint on a layer of Mod Podge. How cool is this? My creative mind is going nuts right now. Let me know in the comments what you would make with this shape. Now you're going to cut the opening so that it's a little more neat. I have a lot of advice and show you all my failed attempts in my bobblehead do's and don'ts video. If you're going to make this project, be sure to check that out. Next, I drew on with marker the shape of my ideal helmet. I took these foam rectangles and I spread them out to make the helmet 3D on the bobblehead. So I did two up the side, two over the top, two down. I rounded the corners and then of course I need to paint it so I decided to do a layer of paper mache over it. I did three layers of the foam rectangles with glue. I'm gonna take my paper mache strip, I'm gonna start here near where his eye should be. I'm gonna pull, push this down, pull it all the way over and around 
so that it's flush with the back of the helmet. I'm going to try to get rid of this indent right here. Yep, so push it down and pull it back and try and get rid of this indent right here. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the top and the same thing on the other side as well. Try to hide those indents. Paint your project white because we're going to do a peach face and you don't want the newspaper to show through. Face! Helmet! Next, I put the football logos on the sides of the helmet and then I covered the logos and the entire helmet part of this project in Mod Podge to seal it. Now he can see! And there's his helmet for protection. The helmet I made out of pipe cleaners. I needed a lot of pipe cleaners. I got a whole pack of red and I just made it work. I can join them at the ends and then I put pieces of clear tape around where they met so that they wouldn't move. They would stay in place and I hot glued them to the bobblehead and it worked so super well. I never got a video of my football player bobbling. So I had to make the whole project again to show you a couple of details I missed the first time around. And this is one of them. Typically in a bobblehead toy, there's a little mechanism inside with a rounded top that the bobblehead moves on. So I put a volleyball in a bucket and I put it on my head and it wasn't tall enough. So I added another bucket to the bottom and it worked like a charm. Nope. Nope. Nope, too short. Nope, doesn't fit my head. And here it is. I have a plastic wear, I have a volleyball, I duct tape them together. <laughs> you are gonna wanna secure the tape, like all the way around, like up and over a couple of times. I'm putting the towel in and it's gonna help me fill out the plastic wear so that my head won't move around. I usually have an assistant for this. If you're gonna be wearing this for some time, I would highly suggest you do something more practical, like a secure hat and a chin strap. I went through baskets, buckets, and plasticware, and I finally figured it out. And go, 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 oh yeah, 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 and go, oh, oh. And there's my interactive bobblehead prop on stage. If you want to see all the mistakes I made put into a video for only your benefit, please go visit my bobblehead do's and don'ts video. You can see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and it will help you make your bobblehead costume successful.